So here we have 10.2, finding x and y intercepts given a polynomial function. So the x intercepts is the harder part because that's the same as finding the zeros, right? Which means you gotta factor everything and then set each factor equal to zero. The y intercept is easier because all you do is plug in zero for x and then find the y. So normally I like to do the y intercept first so the y-intercept is basically just f of 0. So 0 cubed minus 2 times 0 squared minus 35 times 0. And I get the value 0. So depending on the computer, how it asks you, if it just wants the values, um, then for y-intercept, you're going to say 0. But if it wants the point, then you would have to put the x coordinate, which is the x value you plugged in, and then the y coordinate, which is the value you found out after plugging in the, the zero for x, okay? And they do toggle back and forth between putting the x-intercept on top or the y-intercept on top, so pay special attention to which one you're putting where, okay? The x-intercept is a little bit harder. That's when you take the y value and you equal it to zero. But in order for me to figure this out, I have to actually factor. So I'm gonna factor out the common factor first. And then I will factor this resulting trinomial. So x minus seven and x plus five. And then I will set each factor equal to zero. So I get x equal to zero, I get x equal to seven, and I get x equal to negative five. And so then if they just want the values, you're gonna put zero, seven, and negative five. If they want the points, you have to give them zero, zero, um, seven, zero, and then of course, negative five, zero. All of the X values you found and the Y values should be zero because that's what you set the Y value equal to at the very beginning, okay? I think, I believe they, get, they ask you for it in this, form but just in case you do know what the coordinates are and this will be important to know what the where the points are um, later when it when they tell us to graph these things okay right now they're just telling us to find the x-intercepts and y-intercepts of the graph they're not telling us to actually graph it so similarly for this one I like to do the y-intercept first because that's easiest I'm just plugging in zero so zero cubed plus zero squared minus 16 times zero minus 16. I end up with negative 16. So for the y-intercept, I would write negative 16. Now the x-intercepts, you set the y value equal to zero. And then I'm supposed to factor this. Now this is a four-termed expression. So I'm going to um, do grouping. So this side has an x squared in common, which leaves me with x plus one. I must use the minus sign. This side has a 16 in common. So if I take out a negative 16, because that's what's outside the parentheses. If I take out the negative 16, I have an x, and a negative 16 divided by a negative 16 is a positive one. So they have this x plus one in common. And then what I have left over is the x squared from out here and the negative 16 from out there. Now that can be factored further because it is the difference of two perfect squares. So it can be written as x minus four and x plus four. And if I set each one of these equal to zero, I will get negative one, positive four, and negative four. So what are the x-intercepts? They are negative one, positive four, and negative four. And it doesn't matter the order in which you put these in as long as all three are there.